Good evening. Uh, my name is Nico House, host of the political radio show Mikasa Sukasa and political analyst. To catch my radio show, um, you can watch live on my Facebook channel, uh, which I will post the link below, or you can listen uh, live on awakeradio.us. Um, either of those channels work. You can catch it at 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard or 4 p.m. Pacific. Uh, today, we need to answer a question that has obviously been a very popular one in the mainstream media, and we need to grant some clarification. Uh, so, Michigan has been determined by Greg Palas, and uh, Amy Goodman reported it, but uh, just it was a during a report during Democracy Now. Uh, they said that Michigan has possibly been stolen by the Republicans. Uh, there's been a significant uh, deficiency uh, when it comes to how many people have voted versus how many people actually logged onto the machines to vote. Uh, not to mention, there are actually voter mach voting machines that broke down, essentially uh, just voter suppression or election fraud on a vast scale in Detroit, Michigan, and also in Flint, Michigan. Now, um, it would seem that Donald Trump was the one who benefited from this the most, considering that he won, right? And he won by uh, actually significantly a smaller margin than he did in many of his other states that are heavily Republican. Now, this would fall in line with the narrative that Russians may have been involved in this. Um, and like every other time that someone mentions, mentions Russians uh, in regards to this election, I am going to laugh once again and hopefully offer some clarity for the situation. Now, many of you all know I have a great amount of respect for Greg Palast uh, because he's done work at a, for election fraud for decades before I had even thought about being involved in politics. And what I mean by that, I mean before I was even born. Um, this man is very respectable. Um, I've met him personally. Uh, Amy Goodman, I have a great, uh, great admiration for her as well and Democracy Now. But once again, um, our party affiliations, our tunnel vision can cloud our judgment. So just really fast, I wanna give you a, a, a bigger picture, if you will, of exactly what took place in Michigan. So first of all, let me start off by saying I do not have any doubt in my mind that Republicans at some point tried to rig the election in Michigan. I expect it. This is normal. At the state level, Republicans, they gerrymander, they, they voter suppress through ID laws. And, you know, it's just it's what I like, like what's oftentimes referred to as modern day Jim Crow. This is not really surprising. Um, but unless we are talking about its effects on the general election, oftentimes, um, and I don't mean this in a lackadaisical way or like this isn't a serious issue, but it's marginal compared to what we're seeing right now. Um, and what I mean by that is that the state officials oftentimes benefit from it more than Donald Trump did. Donald Trump was a Republican running in these particular states, but if you, this is Michigan, so, he was going to win most of that state anyway. I doubt that he would put his career on the line or someone else would put their career on the line simply to make sure Donald Trump wins in a state that is heavily Republican leaning either way. Um, two, to go ahead and dispute the whole Russia argument that I've been seeing presented now that, uh, that the world is watching Michigan and Pennsylvania and Ohio, uh, not Ohio, excuse me, and Wisconsin. And now because Greg Palas and Amy Goodman has given y'all something to latch onto and threw out the word Republican and Donald Trump involved, uh, we must clarify this whole Russia situation and their involvement or lack thereof. And that involvement is nil. In fact, according to the office of the uh, director of intelligence, which is the overseer of these 17 agencies that supposedly agreed that Russia tried to influence our election to favor Trump in a significant matter, uh, actually said that there is inconclusive evidence that Russia was involved. 
this is the overseer. This is the authority that is consulted uh, before someone makes a serious decision regarding any serious intelligence moves. That kind of contradicts a little bit of what the CIA is saying, considering they're just one of those intelligence agencies, don't you think? Uh, but if you need some further proof, how about I give you a, a bigger picture of what actually is happening in Michigan and Detroit. And for those of you who have been following, um, you will have you you will understand where I'm coming from because you've seen the demographics and how they vote and what is taking place in this election and how we are seeing that uh, influence what we saw uh, in Michigan. Election fraud, heavily practiced by Hillary Clinton. This is, I feel like this isn't even news anymore. If you don't think she rigged the primary at this point, you need to wake up. Uh, if we, if you've paid attention to what's happened in Wisconsin, for some reason it's being reported in one way that he only gained 100, and, that Trump only gained 162 point, uh, uh, not points, excuse me, 162 votes. Uh, I've read 33,000 votes that were, were stolen from Hillary Clinton. So there's that. Um, and in states, in areas like metropolitan areas in Detroit, Milwaukee, Philadelphia, these are the states that Hillary, uh, given her primary history, has been prone to rig. This isn't news. Voter suppression, actually, specifically using Republican tactics. Um, now, what they have mentioned, uh, Democracy Now! and Greg Palas, is that yes, Wayne County, Detroit, and Flint, Michigan, the largest and heavily minority dominated county, um, actually had the most rigging. Now, does that make sense? Yes, it does. But not for the reasons that Greg Palas and Democracy Now! believe. It makes sense because, well, to be quite frank, well, it's, it's classic Hillary. Like I said, um, over and over again in several videos, Hillary had to win swing states like Michigan, like Ohio, like Wisconsin, who traditionally hasn't been a swing state, obviously was this time, um, you know, like Pennsylvania. And to do that, she had to make sure that the right people could come to the polls. And she had to make sure to cover her behind when necessary. Now, they mentioned machines that broke down, Greg Palas does, but if I recall in the video, they didn't mention the machines that had too many votes in Wayne County. They didn't mention the machines that had too many votes in Detroit and too many votes in Flint. And what's even more interesting is that they failed to mention throughout the entire interview that Hillary Clinton won Wayne County two to one, destroyed Donald Trump. Granted, she had about 40,000 votes or so less than what Barack Obama did when he won Wayne County, but Barack Obama was also the first black president who had a 99, like 98% uh, victory when it came to black people. So that's to be expected. But what also isn't taken into account, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that if you look at what happened in the primaries, Hillary got defeated in Michigan by Bernie the same way Donald Trump defeated her and in the same exact areas it's consistent she still won two to one the metropolitan area the minority dominated area michigan mostly isn't minority dominated um so what was also promised by hillary clinton and then eventually neglected is that she would do whatever she could to help Flint to ensure that the Republicans paid their dues to hold people accountable to call them out. Guess what never got promised or get guess, guess, guess what never came into fruition. She never went back to Flint, Michigan. She never went back to Detroit. And if I'm not mistaken, she never went back to Michigan at all. She actually tried to win Michigan without ever returning that ladies and gentlemen is why you must go out of your way to rig. And that is why, seemingly enough, she benefited from the rigging. Now, once again, Republicans probably fought it. They probably fought it because they're trying to save their behinds from, you know, state office, uh, losing their state offices, being prosecuted, things like that. Um, but the judge said that there was 
no proof of voter rigging, uh, of election fraud. And obviously that's not the case. Now, whether he's trying to protect Hillary or the Republicans, either way, it is clear that in an area that Hillary won two to one, that Trump was not the primary beneficiary of the voter or the election fraud there. Once again, I'm not saying that election fraud did not occur on behalf of the Republicans, but if anybody significantly, significantly benefited from it, it would be the, those who are holding local office only. Trump won in the exact same fashion that popular, as a populist candidate, he won in the exact same fashion that the populist candidate on the other side of the fence won in Michigan. And when you combine that with the broken promises of Hillary Clinton, uh, the fact that also Mitch, much of, uh, of Michigan is actually strongly independent, heavily populated with Green Party members as well. Uh, it seems to me that uh, the Russians didn't do this. It seems to me that uh, whether accidentally or purposely, Greg Palas, Amy Goodman, and Democracy Now! are actually missing something. And that is context. Hillary Clinton won this area two to one. De Detroit's a Democratic area. For those machines to have been tampered with that heavily, and for whatever reason Hillary Clinton was the one who was favored, should beg the question, are we trying to demonize Trump because it's the easiest narrative to follow? Because as much as we would all love for Trump to be the bad guy, it's, it's way too convenient. And are we ignoring what is right in front of us simply because, well, calling out Hillary Clinton is much too in inconvenient and much too detrimental to your career? And, People care about that stuff. No, Russians did not help Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton cheated and she still lost. That is what people cannot wrap their head around. And I'm telling you, that is the end of the story. Look at the numbers, look at the demographics, look at the past and give it context. She lost. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and share.